Howdy folks, and welcome back to this let's play of Stellaris. My name is Cornelius, and let's load the end of the last saved game, which we were playing as the Digital Realm. Now, we had, in the last episode, completed our war with our neighbors. We didn't get all of our war girls, but that's due to not due to the fact that we weren't performing well. It was due to the fact that basically they had been in a war with some other people, and yeah, they basically put their demands down, and yeah, okay, things happened. <clears throat> Weird, but yeah. Either way, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We basically completed the surveying of this system here. Now, this fallen empire, the Tundrakian Reclaimers, as they are now known, are currently at war with the, the, their neighbors, the Rak... Raktalaknak. Raktalaknak. So that's these guys here. Now, I'm not sure how that war is going, but we're basically going to see. I've got the game speed at its highest. Finishing research on an item in the next turn, or the next month, really, I should say. Research complete. Look at the strength of that, though. Wow. <clears throat> Seventy-six thousand. That is a fairly, fairly strong fleet, isn't it? I've got no fleets of that strength. Even if I add all of my fleets together, I don't get to that strength at all. I get close to it, but I don't really reach it. Hmm. Right, transgenic crops or leader lifespan increase again. Hmm. Let's go for the habitability increase. <clears throat> Anyways, I can get a new leader now. If I look at my planets and sectors, I will basically want to place another leader in, in one of my sectors here. I'll place a leader on this sector here. Recruiting a brand new one. They got a surplus of anything at all. Construction complete. Looks like they are making a nice surplus. And I can use it, yeah. I can use it quite nicely. Look at that, that's a very, very nice stockpile of, of energy credit they got. <clears throat> yep, I'd be quite happy with that. Look at that. We've reached a limit in terms of how much energy we can have, so let's talk to our neighbors here in buying more of the actual minerals. now. How is the rest of my planets doing? So look at the sectors here. This one's got a pretty big reserve as well. Energy again. Yep. That one's got a massive stockpile as well. Look at that. Let's talk to our neighbors once again. Okay, so I'm going to basically trade for minerals. Okay, and then let's have a look. Once again, the top one, right? Do I see? Ah, uh, costs me. Uh, okay, that's the reason why. Does it cost me? Boop, boop, boop. Okay, I need more of my influence. How can I basically increase my influence? I need to reduce the number of outposts I have, like this one here, for example. Is there really a big benefit to me having that outpost there? Not sure, I'm not sure. Let's get rid of this one here. <clears throat> so I'm getting rid of that outpost there. That seems to have thus far little consequence. It has led to an increase in capacity there. <clears throat> Building that research station, I'm going to build a mining station there in a second. More outposts that I have. Outpost indicated by that little symbol there. I've got an outpost here. Can I get rid of some other outposts? Hmm. 
Where else have we got our posts? <clears throat> Here. Can probably get rid of this one. Yeah, that border has moved towards my neighbor, which, yeah, okay, it's fine. Not a big problem. Plus, I have an outpost there. Do I need that outpost? Probably not. I did lose one launch system there, but for the rest, it, it's all okay. Good. Okay, let's move and basically take ownership of some of that resources here. Is that where my room? Where my, no, it's just outside of my room. Construction complete. Hmm. My gosh. I Research it would be in complete. My room, but okay. Apparently, it's not. Research. <clears throat> weapon attack speed. Kinetic weapon attack speed. Kinetic artillery upgrade. Always welcome. Of course, we can now go for the next one here. <clears throat> Leader lifespan increased by 20%. Governing ethic attraction caused by distance from capital. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Good. Our trade treaty has expired. Got no problem really with that. <clears throat> Construction complete. This one will upgrade to that one. This one will upgrade to that one. That's just a farm I want to upgrade. Have I got any particular spots here? Of course, I can clear all of these. No problem. Probably want to basically build here something as well. Frontier Clinic. <clears throat> I don't seem to have that list on my, on my, or at least that item on my list of options. <clears throat> so I got my complete. Frontier Clinic there, really. So I don't need as much food production as I have at the moment. The growth speed will be increased by 10% by having that occupied and manned. Um, climate restoration allows the terraform ecological disaster uh, devastated two worlds. Farm upgrade, clone army, our leader capacity. Always welcome again. We're at 2.75 at the moment. Have I got more outposts that I could potentially get rid of? Where have I got outposts? I got one up there, which is fine where it is. This one's fine where it is. I got my Dyson sphere there. <clears throat> hmm. I actually have a world here I could colonize. And I actually have a colony ship at my disposal. Let's colonize this world as is. <clears throat> Have I got capacity for it? Not quite. Right, Farah is here. The North Star is here. Good for her. An upgrade. Scientist gained levels, which is always good. It <coughs> means to become more efficient. At the moment they're all three stars, as you can see. Colonization and in, in terms progress. of life, they're not that old, these guys. They're relatively young. So, yeah. And they're doing it really, really well, particularly this one here. Society research is getting a massive, massive result. Um, technology sharing is contributing to that. Okay. How is that war going over there? Looks like they just got one fleet hanging over there, but not doing much. <clears throat> uh, basically uh, being bombarded and such, but yeah, that's about it. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. 
takes us about seven months or so to basically complete this uh, colonization. Relatively quick job. It's a relatively small world, but yeah, it basically means that basically we should get a nice sphere here in terms of uh, ownership, influence, and so forth. Borders will increase slightly here, probably. Slight bulge there, but not massive. Um, what could I do here to basically advance my borders slightly? Got an outpost there, got an outpost there. Do I need both of them, really? Possibly not, but hmm. I don't think having just the one will suffice. Right, I'm going to basically build another worm Incoming transmission. Here. We've made great strides in ridding the Barbarian of the superstition and primitive beliefs that plague the society. They are beginning to see the value of science and rationale. Cool. Now, let's have a look at those primitives. <clears throat> if I look at these primitives, are any of them within my territory? these guys here isn't it All right, that's there that is there and yeah that is my realm as well hold on what are we doing here with these guys here looks like I'm not doing anything here yet I can build an observation outpost good these guys are here, which is my neighbor's space, here, here, where is here? In an untaken system, <laughs> interesting. I do have an observation outpost there, so that's one thing already. My neighbors again, and also my neighbors. Good. <clears throat> If I can get these guys here to be basically become their own little fiefdom, that would be great. No guarantees though. <clears throat> hmm. Colony established. Yeah, I got too many worlds now, which I kind of expected to happen. Right, where are we going to basically allocate a world to a new realm? North Star, what have we got there? What have we got on that space station? Yeah, we're just going to link Bernard Star into that bit there, I think. Yeah. What did I name that sector? That is the Enkaf Prime sector. I'm going to manage that. I'm going to allocate one extra star to there. Bernard Star. Good. So now I can basically go and basically merge all of these fleets here into one. <coughs> okay. Good. And if I now basically go towards, of course, the new planet that we basically gained, this one here, I can actually start looking into things like, yeah, how do we basically get more out of this world? Firstly, I want to basically build myself a monument. I want to basically build myself a power station. Or actually, a frontier clinic would be helpful here as well, given the uh, conditions on the world. Any little bit of basic help in terms of being able to stimulate the growth rate would be welcome. So we're basically getting rid of all the, uh, the items that are basically blocking us on here. <clears throat> Let's have a look what else we got. Let's have a look at the other worlds in the meantime. We can actually upgrade more of our buildings as you can see. 28,000 at the moment. 
pretty sure I gave clearance orders already for most of these. Yeah. We're going through that clearance process now. And each of these little blocks I can again upgrade here quite nicely. Can I build a frontier clinic or have I already done so? Silos? New. No, I cannot do anything extra there. I could of course build a military academy there. Unrest is reduced. Construction complete. Okay, these upgrades I can do again. Construction complete. Quite nice all these upgrades. And I can see that I actually have not actually put all the buildings in yet. What can I build here? Let's build a research station here. It's a little bit underdeveloped, the planet, isn't it? Not at all, so build a droid. <clears throat> Haven't got many droids on the world yet. Here, more food. Or do I want to go away from the food this time? Do I want to do something else? Let's build a planetary shield generator. And this world here, though, <clears throat> if I build that military academy here, that helps reduce the unrest. Uplift it. Unhappiness. <laughs> Slave army, elite guard army. Interesting. We can build more elite arm guard armies here as well. <coughs> Did I lose my elite guard? I'm not sure. Or maybe it's because I got a new leader that basically did the guard dies with them. I'm not sure. Construction I'm not sure. complete. Okay. We're standing up point again where we got nice reserves Incoming build up. Transmission. Energy, minerals, etc. etc. Let's look at the others. Let's go to the traders here. I'm gonna buy some more minerals. Good. <clears throat> 33k at the moment. Complete. If I now look at my planets and sectors. 75% <clears throat> of that should do quite nicely. Yep, there we go. We're standing at 40k now. <clears throat> so if I now go to my Dyson Cube here, the Dyson Cube itself could be expanded to 40 framework. <clears throat> It's a lengthy process, but as you can see, we're basically building that sphere around the sun. Of course, again, the traders here will actually be able to provide me with more resources. <clears throat> Pretty fast, though. Structures owned by the digital realm, yes, it would better be. Chara Prime. I'm gonna go back to Chara. I'm gonna basically build some extra spaceships. Engineering by Fleet Academy. So the Fleet Academy helps me, of course. In terms of allowing me to grow my fleets and so forth. Have I got a fleet economy here? Yep, I do as well. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to keep it as is for the moment being. Star Nation for me, no, as has been destroyed by its enemy. Ooh, interesting. 
put this into orbit with the other one. Let's briefly have a look at our leaders. How do these compare? H80, H70, logistics, and of course the hull points is increased, combat speed increase, sensor range increase. Purged. Systematically being killed off. Wow. Construction complete. Tile blocker cleared. enemies in the world. <clears throat> Same goes for these guys here. expanding <clears throat> good thanks for accepting that space what here is this one here Got a few more ships which will basically go towards reinforcing these Research here complete gonna merge these two into one <clears throat> Research complete. Set this one here to be the one to get the new ships. <clears throat> Research completed. Cool. Sector limit increase is one of the nice ones I can get. Habitability increase. Slave mining output. Slave food output. We're going to choose here. Shield hit point increase. Cut it increase. Let's go for the shield hit point increase. Let us end this meaningful rivalry. Yep, I know. That's what I basically just said earlier. Declare rivalry, declare war, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Offer them a trade deal. <clears throat> yes, you can get access to more wormholes for 30 years, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Key reason, of course, why I did that is because I want to make sure that we got someone to fall back on once we get into war with the reclaimers. <clears throat> Again, I want to merge these two into one. One of my governors has died, unfortunately. So right, let's look at the planets and sectors. Let's see which one we need to replace. This one here. Need a new leader here. <clears throat> Food building 
the cost. Let's go for this one here. And I cannot yet. I need to wait a little bit. A little bit. It cost 55. <clears throat> I haven't got enough points. Research complete. It's partly caused by the unhappiness of some of the people. Um, Devastator torpedo strike craft damage. Okay. So if I look at my factions now. <clears throat> That one's none too happy at the moment. Just because I removed all those rivalries. <clears throat> Installing ourselves as the overlord of one or many foreign powers will please the path to victory. Okay. Mm-hmm. These guys are now doing relatively okay. I thought there were three. There's another one. Was there another one there? Yeah, these guys are <coughs> not too happy with me either. Information active sensor link. There you go. <coughs> Trying to create some friends here. Just trying to create some friends here. <clears throat> cool. Let's see if there's some rebels coming up. Aggression pact, which should help. Good, thank you very much for that. <clears throat> Demand of vassalage. Uh, our trade treaty with the director of the union has ended. As they have become the subject with no longer controls their access. Yeah, okay, they're mine, aren't they? They're my vassal. <clears throat> if you agree to defend us from our horrors of the galaxy, <clears throat> we shall become your vassals. All right. So, what's next? <clears throat> Is there anything interesting in here? <laughs> Let's see whether there's any other some of them are that basically will rebel. Combined S. Yogan Sons. No, they're not. We are in a defensive agreement with them at the moment. Okay, let's pick up the game speed. We're still basically uh, expanding a little bit there. How can I reduce my outlays or my costs further? Do I need this one down here? I'm very much inclined to basically surrender this one here. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Reduction in cost is quite essential. Construction complete. the best one to have. I think so. Particularly looking at basically how 
it all fits together. 84,000. <clears> now <throat> oh, I should set this to basically have maybe as the rally point. Strike force, but I probably should make it the first. Construction complete. There we go. Done. So my fleet here is very much in a ready position. Just in case we basically complete. that war, which I'm kind of expecting to break up not too far from now. Brief look at these worlds here. <clears throat> Incoming transmission. <laughs> Enslaved. Systematically killed. <clears throat> yeah, you can get the star charts, that's fine. Okay, like that. Construction complete. Dracon reclaimers. Pretty sure they'll lose those worlds once their population is gone, but uh, we'll see how that goes. It's a system that research once again. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> How's our Dyson sphere coming along? This is very, very slow progress, as you can see. So at least another 10 years, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, or so. But yeah, okay. Good. Anyways, we're at a point where we basically can save away the game. I'm going to do that exactly now. And we're going to carry on in the next episode. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And until then, bye-bye.